Hey guys, New Zealand work visa made simple and easy. I'm talking about accredited employers that have been licensed by the government of New Zealand to bring international applicant into New Zealand. On this video, I'm going to be talking about three different pathways that you can use to move to New Zealand in 2024, okay? And if you use any of this pathway that I'm going to be talking about today, you have the opportunity to benefit from getting issued permanent residence from your home country, okay? With you and your family getting issued a permanent residence from your home country, you will be able to go with your family without any restriction whatsoever. And after living legally in New Zealand for up to three years, you have the opportunity to apply for citizenship. Now, your children can access health and education for free, okay? Your spouse, if you go with your spouse, your spouse will have the opportunity to work in any industry of their choosing without any restriction. You and your family will live in a family-friendly country or nation, okay? Now, New Zealand is considered one of the safest place to raise children to live in because it is considered one of the safest place based on Global Peace Index, okay? Now, it is an English-speaking country, so which means if you are desiring to live in an English-speaking country, where language will not be a barrier for you and your children or your family, you know, based on integration issues, okay? New Zealand is the best place to live in and work without any restrictions. So, as I said, I am going to be discussing three different pathways that you can use to move to New Zealand. The first pathway is called the green list. If you find a job among the list of jobs that has been considered under the green list or tier one, you, you will be able to apply for permanent residence or you will be able to get your permanent residence from your own country before moving to New Zealand with you and your family. So that means you and your family will be able to secure permanent residence from your own country and move to New Zealand together. Now, the second route is called the tier two route. Now, if you find a job under the tier two job opportunities or under the tier two pathway, you and your family can apply for visa or residence permit to move to New Zealand. Now, after working legally in New Zealand for up to two years, you can apply for permanent residence in New Zealand. Now, the third pathway is called seasonal work option or seasonal work permit. So which means if you move to New Zealand under jobs considered as seasonal jobs, you will be able to apply for visa or residence permit with you and your family, and you will be able to move to New Zealand with your family. Now, after five years of living legally in New Zealand, you and your family will have the opportunity to apply for permanent residence. I mean, it's great, right? It's a very great opportunity for everyone. So that is why I said you can move to New Zealand and achieve your dream, okay? Now, you will observe that each of the three pathways that I've said have the opportunity for you to move to New Zealand with you and your family. Now, in New Zealand, minimum wage per hour is around $26 to $26, $0.27 or thereabouts. So which means New Zealand is one of the highest paying country in, with respect to minimum wage. And that $26 is per hour. That is what they pay you per hour, regardless of the type of job that you're doing. So New Zealand is a high paying country and it has a GDP of around $400 billion dollar and has a very small population. Now, because of the distance of New Zealand to most people that are watching this video, the beauty of this is that they have 
an online visa application process for everyone. Yes, they have physical embassy in some countries, but if, uh, if, their, if their embassy is not in your own country, you have the opportunity to apply for their visa online with your international passport, with your um, uh, police character report and the job opportunity that you want. You, you can submit everything online without any issues or delay, okay? And if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, my name is Bimbo and this is Jackpa with your days. On this channel, we discuss relevant and informative relocation opportunity that we hate and help your Jackpa plan without you, I mean, without you uh, having to break the bank before you relocate with you and your family. And if this is the kind of information that you are always aiming to get, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop informations and opportunities like this you will be the first person to get notification so today let me quickly show to you the details about each of this pathway and how you can source for job with the accredited employers so first of all these are the details of the accredited employers that has been licensed by the government of new zealand for them to be able to bring international applicant into, um, uh, into New Zealand. So what, I mean, you can see them, you can see their list. I'm going to be dropping each of the link that we will go through on this video. I'll be dropping it on the video description so that you can do extensive research about each of these accredited employers and go directly to their website, particularly their career session and try to apply for any current job vacancies that are available. So, and uh, of course, the list are very many, as you can see here. So, um, for instance, this is how you do your own search if you want to search for any one of them. So, let's say, for instance, you, you want to search. I mean, like I said, you can start searching for each and every one of them. They, these are the names of the accredited employers. So, for instance, let me say, let's say I want to um, search for these employers on Google, you go on Google and uh, you search this way, you type it on Google and you it will bring up something like this and the uh, 3D still limited, okay? This is what, this is what it will bring out for you. Three D still limited, then once you, so you'll be able to see all of this opportunity. Then you can, once you click on it, you see 3D still, still, D still jobs in New Zealand. So job vacancies, then you can click on one of them. So when you click on one of them, it will immediately look, take you to the session where they have all the job opportunity available for that particular company. So it, it, it shows that uh, it brought you to this website. So which means the employer that we just searched for has already loaded some vacancy that they have available. So you can start searching for each of them that relate to you. Mind you, you need to design your CV in a New Zealand format. And I'm also going to show to you how you can design your CV in a New Zealand format. That is very, very important. Before you apply to any job, design your CV in a New Zealand format, okay? So these are the list of jobs that are available for that particular company. You can, you know, scroll down and you know check them out one after the other for instance let's check let's check this one out okay and see what opportunities are there it's a full-time job and it's and i think it's relating to team lead or senior me mechanical design engineer that is the type of uh, person they are looking for so it's an engineering type of job and then uh, you can re review uh, uh, review the role the skills the job description you know and every other thing for a confidential discussion, please contact this number. Alternatively, to submit an application, press the apply button, okay? So, of course, if you need any other information, you can contact that person. So let's assume if we want to apply for this, you just click on quick apply. Once you click on quick apply, it will take you to a place where you will need to open a, I mean, where you will need to create an account, or if you have already created an account with them, you just need to log in with your own details. So for instance, it's, it brought me into this place. You'll be able to put your full name, you know, last name, home locations, your phone number, and then click on save, put your, upload a resume, 
and then your cover letter, and then you click on continue. Once you click on continue, it will take you to this session, and then you'll be able to review and submit. So it's a very simple and easy procedure to do for any of the job that you find. That is what you just need to do. So, which means, I mean, that is the one of the uh, accredited employer. So you can, you can, I mean, you can start taking each of their names as you see them here. The list are quite many, so you can't. I mean, that is why I'm very certain if you devote your time to this, you will be able to secure a job from one of these employers. And even if you are unable to see any of the jobs opening immediately showing on the on their on their on their page, once you load your website, try to scroll down and search for career page. They will every website, every employer always have a career session where they normally upload current vacancies that are available or that they are currently recruiting for. So set them like this. Now, another website in which you can search for job is the government website itself. It's called careers.gov.nz, career.gov.nz. So this is a government website that is particularly designed for recruiting international applicants and majority or in fact and all of the accredited employers usually post vacancy into this place as well so and uh, of course this is this is a very easy step so if you know the industry or the type of skills that you are looking for you just need to sort and refine it it will help you to streamline the set so let's say for instance you are an engineer you click on engineer and it will immediately load the type of engineering position that are available for you. And you see fabrication engineer, uh, uh, civil engineer, you know, one to three years experience, average for so civil. So you see, you see the list goes on environmental engineer, welder, tire and fire technicians, industrial spray painter, fire engineer, you know, I mean, mechanical engineer, the list goes on and on. So you can just sort based on your own type of jobs or industry that you work for or that you are looking for jobs in. And you sort them now. One of the beauty of this website again is the fact that it helps you to process or design your CV, which is here. So when you click on <clears throat> when you click on CV builder, it will take you to this place, <clears throat> and you will be able to use their CV builder. Once you click on get started, it is very it is free. In fact, let me quickly say this: all employer. If you want to make any inquiry or you need any further clarification or any issue from any of the website accredited employers, try to connect with them, set, set, um, um, send email to them or make any inquiry that you wish. But everything that you will be doing with them is free. No employer have, in fact, it is illegal for any employer in New Zealand to ask you for any money while providing uh, uh, recruitment services to anyone, it is an illegal. So immediately you see anybody asking you for money, know that it is a scam. So I just need to quickly say that. So you can easily build your CV in this session, okay? And then once you're done with your CV, that is when you can now start using it to apply for jobs. Now, <clears throat> that is that about, now let's quickly look into the green list. Now, this is the green list that I say, it's the first list when you get a job under the green list, the first one, which is the tier one, let me quickly show it to you. Under tier one, which is the, the most important one, or let me say, I mean, it's, it's equivalent. You just, it, it, they have different criteria or different procedure. If you get a job under the tier one, let's look at jobs that are under tier one. Now, the, the tier one or the green list one is the one that, uh, that, uh, that issued to you permanent residence for you and your family from your own country. But under the jobs that are posted on the tier two, okay, those are jobs that you, you apply for visa, uh, work permit, then after two years working legally in the country, that is when you can now apply for permanent residence. And of course, later on, uh, after three years or thereabouts, you can now apply for citizenship. So these are the kind of jobs that you should, um, that should be your professions for you to be able to apply for permanent residence from your home country, you see acoustic engineer, electrical engineer, civil engineer, you know, industrial engineer, I mean, anything engineer, you can look at it for yourself. Construction, if you're into construction, these are the kind of job that you need to be into and that you need to get a job among the accredited employers in New Zealand. And then if you are into health and social services as well, 
these are the kind of jobs that you need to get from an accredited employers in New Zealand, okay? I mean, the list is very, very many for um, health and social general practitioner, midwife, um, healthcare assistant, nursing, you know, the list is quite many. So I, I won't be able to read it out because of time. That is why I said every link that will be discussed here, you will see them on the video description. And we have ICT, electronics communication, chief information programmer, you know, database administrator, software, software tester, software engineer, blah, 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 you know, the list are there. And they have <clears throat> others as well. So if your jobs fall into any of this one that's still part of the green list or the tier one list, you are good to go. You will be able to also get permanent residence from your home country. Why the jobs that are under the tier two jobs? If you get a job under tier two, you will need to apply for visa uh, uh, residence permit and then move to New Zealand. And after working legally in New Zealand for two years, you apply for their permanent residence. So under constructions, these are the list of jobs that are available. Under trades, these are the list of jobs that are available. And under the others, they, they classify some as others. If you look at them, you know, primary school teacher, teacher of the site in head, <laughs> special education teacher, sorry, <clears throat> special need teachers, etc. If your jobs fall under any of these, you are good to go to be able to apply for permanent residence. Uh, permanent residence after two years of living in, <clears throat> sorry, after two years of living legally in New Zealand. And the third pathway is the seasonal job opportunity that I discussed. So recognize seasonal employer limited visa. So if you, if you, if you are interested in uh, seasonal jobs, you can look into this particular website to search for the recognized seasonal employer list and try to go through each of their websites and apply for jobs that are posted there. And after moving with your family to New Zealand, after five years, you can apply for uh, a permanent residence, okay? Now, however, I also have something very essential to you know, pass across to those who are in the healthcare space. These are two important websites. Don't forget, I will also be leaving it on the uh, video description as well. These are two important websites that you can use to search for jobs in the healthcare, healthcare space, regardless of the type of jobs that you do in the healthcare nursing, you know, a doctor, um, healthcare assistant, name it. These two websites will be able to help you to secure a job. And if you need to have or ask any questions with them, you can contact them. They will be able to answer all, I mean, answer all your questions, clarify all your doubts, and assist you with all the jobs vacancy that they have available so that you can apply. I mean, it's a very great opportunity. The websites are very informative. And like I said, none of the websites has the authority to request for any payment or any money from you. Once you see anybody doing that, that is a scam. Try to avoid such, but from everything that I've seen, every of this information, this website will provide information or a session. They will even try to contact you via phone to you know, provide all the necessary information that you would need to be able to secure or land a job with them. That is for those who are into the healthcare space alone, okay? So we, we have talked about three different pathways that will help you to land a job in New Zealand. One offer you, which, which one is a green list, which is called green list, and it is also called a one list. It allows you to secure a job among the accredited employers in New Zealand, and afterwards, you will be able to secure a permanent residence with you and your family from your own country, and you can move to New Zealand. And of course, after three years, you can apply for their citizenship. Why the tier two list? When you secure a job in that session, you will all only need to apply for visa and residence permits. And after, um, after two years, you will be able to apply for permanent residence, okay? And of course, subsequently, you can apply for their citizenship. While the seasonal job employment, as I discussed, also has its own accredited list, which as you can see here, recognize seasonal employers list. So once you go through that list, you would be able to see those who are recruiting for the seasonal jobs. And then when you get a job there, you can apply for visa 
and the necessary document issued to you by the employer apply for visa and residence permit with you and your family and then you can move and after five years working legally you can apply for their permanent residence so these are the three pathways that you can use to move to new zealand without any issues without any burden without any azu whatsoever and it's, it's a very simple and easy steps and like i said because of the distance of the new zealand embassy in almost all countries which is very limited you have the opportunities to apply for their visa online everything can be done and approved online okay so you have no excuse whatsoever to not explore this opportunity with you and your family. New Zealand is one of the safest. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a very safe and easy, friendly environment or friendly country to live in. So you will have no excuse. You and your family will love to enjoy. You, you and your family will love to live in New Zealand because it's an English-speaking country and it's shared border with Australia and some other beautiful countries okay if this is the if this video has really helped you okay please help us to like and subscribe to this video and also let us know where you are watching from so that we'll be able to connect with you so please like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring opportunities like this you will be the first person to get notification also follow us on all of our social media and every other place that we share relevant information till we come your way next time thank you very much for listening Bye-bye for now.